Hi, and welcome to the third video in the series, Perception. So why is perception so important when you're a business brain? Let me explain this to you. Get a blank piece of paper and perhaps draw this out. That's a human being. I'm gonna give you a little bit of neuroscience to understand why perception is critical and how actually your reality is potentially not real, it's just your version of events. So how do you make sense of the world as an individual? Well, our senses help with this. We have visual stimulus coming in, auditory sound stimulus, kinesthetic feelings and emotions. We have olfactory and gustatory, which is smell and taste. So all of these sensory experiences come to us in vast quantities every second of every day. In fact, every second, what's actually happening is between two to seven million bits of information arguably hit your conscious mind every second. And I say arguably, it's because neuroscience is making massive advances and that could change. But just think about that for a second. Seven million bits every second. But your conscious mind can only compute around about seven plus two or minus two bits of that information. And what I mean by that is as much as nine or as little as five. Now that's pretty scary, think about that's the volume that's hitting your conscious mind. But you can only actually really comprehend on average seven bits. But you can't comprehend all of this, otherwise you'd go insane. So you're just being effective and efficient. So don't worry about it. But what actually does happen, the residual volumes of millions of bits of information do go somewhere and they go into your unconscious mind. But that's the first filtering process. There's a second filtering process where we delete information, we distort information, and we generalize information. So what I mean by this is when we delete stuff, we remove it. Now, if you think about the amount of information we remove from our experience, what exactly are you removing from that experience? And how exactly does that help you or potentially not help you? Distortions, we can change the stuff that we filter. So think about that again. Are we changing conversations that we've had with people to fit in with our beliefs and values? Do they actually help us to become more resourceful or not? And then we generalize. We put things into boxes because it's easier. We create stereotypes and categories. But again, successful business brains know this and they understand that actually are these deletions, distortions and generalizations, are they truly helping us? And if not, we can see them in a different way. Because what actually happens is, this is unique to you. This is your reality. It's not mine because I'm seeing things from a different point of view and filtering them differently. So business brains understand that perception is critical and understanding that is a foundation of how you can evolve and develop. Because once you've deleted, distorted and generalized, what's created at the back end of that is in your unconscious mind, we create your values and belief systems. Okay, we create perceptions of how you viewed a situation or a person, which will then lead you to judge that individual or that situation and act accordingly. So it's your actions, your behaviors, and how you manage your internal states, your emotions, if you like. And put all of this together <coughs> and we create what we call cognitive maps, which I'll talk about next. So let's talk about maps. Let me use a metaphor. Let's say we have a cognitive map for everything in our lives. An example might be going to the cinema. You might go with 10 friends to go and see a film. But what's interesting is that when you leave the cinema and you talk about the film, have you ever noticed how lots of different friends have different opinions about the movie? Some people loved it, some people thought it was awful, and some people thought, yeah, it was okay. These are the different maps in play and we have maps for all sorts of experiences and that being just one of them. But a successful business brain understands that they've got to have resourceful maps when it comes to working through business ideas and achieving their mission and being the super self that they want to be. So we've got to create a, a set of maps that are really helpful to us. So an example for the next exercise, I want you to think about a limit, a limitation that you've set yourself because don't forget it's just a perception, it's not the truth. Limitations don't exist, they only exist in here and you've created them. So think about a limitation, a limited map that you may possess in relation to the mission you're trying to achieve. So it might be a lack of confidence when it's going out networking. 
how does that actually serve you is the question, okay? And think about that. What's the positive intention behind not being confident when networking? And think about that in great detail because believe it or not, every behavior has a, has a potential positive intention regardless of how bizarre it may feel or seem. So go away and write out a limited map and explore it and think about that question. What's the positive intention behind that? And then think about what would I need to change in order to make it more resourceful and more helpful towards my mission? And when you go away and write out the answers, suddenly you can start thinking, well, actually at an unconscious level, I can change this because you can, because you have the potential to do it, because it's just a perception. So when you think about the limited map and what the positive intention is, and then how it serves you and what you can do instead. Think about how that fits in with your mission and your outcome and tick it off and go, yes, I can change this. And then come back to me. <laughs>